This is Kresna Gorge, one of Europe's biodiversity hotspots and the most controversial section of a motorway that is part of Pan-European Transport Corridor 4. Even though Struma Motorway is a priority project for both the European Commission and the Bulgarian government, the construction of its slowest, deadliest and most ecologically sensitive section, the one passing through the gorge, has been delayed for decades. With serious questions over funding, the project's latest planned completion in 2027 has become increasingly unrealistic. Even if completed, current plans will see one of the carriageways passing through the gorge, meaning heavy traffic will continue to decimate this delicate ecosystem into the foreseeable future. Kresna Gorge, as the name suggests, is a steep valley located between two mountains and two climate zones. Its unique ecological conditions make it one of the regions with the richest biodiversity in Europe, home and vital migration corridor to dozens of protected species. As a Natura 2000 conservation site, the area is protected under Bulgarian and European environmental law Constructing a motorway through the gorge is very complicated and therefore expensive. The project forms a major part of Bulgaria's road construction budget for years ahead, making it strategically important for the local road construction companies. At the same time, the scale of the project gives an advantage to larger international competitors. Due to all these complications, this controversial section has been repeatedly pushed back in favour of other, easier to complete projects. In 2008, the outlook was optimistic. An environmental assessment had rejected the possibility for the motorway to pass through the gorge. Locals, as well as Bulgarian and European institutions, all backed a decision to build a long tunnel that bypasses the gorge. Based on this plan, the European Commission approved funding for all four sections of the Struma motorway. Three of them were expected to be ready by 2015, and the one near Kresna by 2022. In official correspondence, the Commission made clear the construction of the tunnel is a mandatory requirement for funding the project and froze funds on two occasions over doubts whether the plan will be executed. Multiple Bulgarian ministers wrote to the Commission to give their assurances that despite delays, the tunnel will be built. Funding resumed and the construction of the other sections proceeded. Meanwhile, in a series of media appearances and letters to state institutions, a coalition led by the local road construction industry launched a campaign against the tunnel citing high costs of construction and operation, long construction time and high seismic activity in the area. These claims were substantially put into question by leading tunnel engineers, seismologists, geologists and others. Despite that, the government initiated a new environmental assessment. It explicitly stated that the long tunnel will not be judged on equal grounds as it was not considered feasible. Long before seeing the official results of the assessment, the government had already expressed their preference for the so-called semi-bypass route option G1050, also favoured by the road building associations. 
Under it, a new route will be built for one of the carriageways, while the other will use the existing road. The new environmental assessment was completed and concluded that this same option was the only environmentally acceptable alternative. Environmental organisations pointed out discrepancies in the methodology and conclusions of the environmental assessment. Their concerns were dismissed and the decision to proceed was confirmed. Meanwhile, while EU-funded construction of the other sections of the motorway continued, biologists reported a drastic decrease in wildlife populations in the gorge due to the large increase in traffic. The semi-bypass option G1050 was approved in May 2018 but it took the government more than a year to submit the application for funding to the European Commission. By that time, all other sections were either completed or well under construction. The European Commission returned the application form with heavy criticism over discrepancies in the environmental assessment, among others. Many of their comments were in line with the objections raised by the environmental organisations. Three months later, the government withdrew its request for EU funding, arguing that it needed more time to address the Commission's recommendations. An implication that follows from the Commission's comments is that the selected semi-bypass option, G1050, cannot be considered as legally and environmentally sound without conducting a new environmental impact assessment. The only legitimate assessment so far, the one confirmed by the European Commission in 2008, rejected all road options that pass through the gorge. The reason for that is that heavy traffic in the gorge causes irreversible damage to the protected wildlife and its habitat. This makes it imperative that a motorway bypassing the gorge is built as soon as possible and in full accordance with environmental law. The repercussions of not doing so are manifold. Bulgaria will lose EU funding for by far the most expensive section of the motorway and will most certainly have to pay salty fines for mismanaging a Natura 2000 site. But these losses pale in comparison to the loss of life, loss of biodiversity, and loss of important habitats, resulting from a decades-long delay in finding a solution to what is one of the deadliest road sections in Bulgaria, running through one of the country's most sensitive ecosystems. <laughs>